Now, in the last few weeks, I have reviewed both of these golf clubs and I was super impressed with both of them. But there's a big difference in terms of their price point. The question is, is it worth paying more for this than this? Right, so those two clubs in question are in fact hybrids and they're five hybrids. They're identical in their terms of loft, but one comes from TaylorMade and the other one comes from Tor Edge. And the price difference, well, it's huge. And what I wanna know, is it worth paying the difference in terms of performance? Now, the first thing I look at when I'm looking at such a price difference, because let's put these up on the screen now. Basically, the Tor Edge product is 149 and the TaylorMade product is 229. That's a huge, huge difference, especially when you consider I'm encouraging people to put maybe two, three of these in the bag as long iron replacements. That's a lot of money to save over two or three clubs. And the first thing I'm looking at, okay, so what am I paying the extra for? What am I getting more in this tailor-made product like I am in the Tour Edge? So aesthetically is the first thing that I would look at. Am I looking like I've got an inferior product in the Tour Edge? And I have to say, if you look at these products close up, I think from above, They've got a lot of similarities, to be quite honest with you. The whole shape and profile is very, very similar. One has got the more gloss crown, a more matte crown on that stealth product, but essentially they are very, very similar indeed. And to be honest with you, from the address perspective, the white lines that you see on the Tor Edge product, I think show the face and importantly show that loft a little bit more, which I like because it gives that little bit more confidence in my eyes. And then from underneath, again, really, really good shelf appeal from both visible weight placements on that Tor Edge product with it being right at the back. And we can assume that underneath the uh, bonnet, if you like, of the Stealth product, it's gonna be a similar principle. The idea being these are ultra forgiving clubs. That CG placement at the back is to encourage launch. And with 25 degrees aloft, it's a great combination. But from a looks perspective, I'm not seeing anything to suggest that there's 80 pounds worth of difference in terms of the way these clubs have been put together at least. Next thing I'm looking at is my sort of shaft options. How can I get custom fit for this product? And uh, I would suggest that the, what I've seen so far in terms of options from both, it's wide in terms of the choices that you've got. So again, you can certainly get a shaft that is suitable in this Tor Edge product from the offerings that uh, they put up in the UK. It's a slightly different model over in the US as well. So maybe there's more access to sort of uh, greater product options over there. And then this next thing, well, it's how these things sound. Does this sound like an inferior product? I can't believe how straight I hit it. And the simple answer to that question is no, there isn't. In fact, there are a lot of similarities as to how these two clubs sound. They don't look any different, not greatly different at least anyway. There's great components available in both. They sound very, very similar indeed. So the question still remains, why am I paying 80 pound more for the Stealth product than I am for the Tour Edge? Well, what about dry ball data? Surely there's a difference in terms of the performance between these two. We've got to find a separator here somehow. The only difference in terms of performance that I had out of the two clubs is that the Stealth product launch is just a little bit higher. Now, we haven't got the same shaft in both of these clubs, so arguably that could be playing its part in terms of that difference in launch, but in terms of overall carry distance, almost identical. Launch angle a little bit higher, spin number very, very similar as well, and descent angle similar, a little bit different on the Stealth, but the key fi fact is that both of these clubs are covering that sort of 170 to 180 yards, maybe even a little bit more than that if you decided to put a bit of effort into these. They're covering that yardage far, far easier than I could with my six iron, my five iron equivalent. And the numbers that they produce suggest they will perform better out on the course. But that's what we need to do now. Let's hit a few balls out on the golf course and I'll give you some real feedback from a real situation. Right, so usual question at this point is, from your perspective, how many of you have actually tried Tor Edge? I've got so many people asking me to review these products, it's been unreal, but I'm assuming it's very much from the, uh, well, the across the pond, let's say, because f this is an American brand, it's far more accessible at retail shops in the US than it certainly is in the UK. There's only one retailer that you can buy from in the UK, and that was American Golf. I managed to buy this product, but in terms of, options and availability it's more limited here without doubt in the uk have i got that right or wrong please let me know in the comment section below in terms of accessibility uk us and wherever else you might be able to buy this product from 
but also let me know, have you tried this product? Is it a brand you're aware of? And is it a brand that you want to try and potentially put in your bag? A lot of questions. Hopefully we get a lot of comments. Right, so second shot you see me hit there out here on the course was that with the Stealth. A bit down the left hand side and that's down to my own personal swing. We're going to have a little look what they did there. Interestingly enough, there is a noticeable sort of sound difference out here on the golf course. More so than I got inside. Flight was very, very similar indeed. And super impressed in terms of performance with both of them. But we need to hit a few more shots here on the course. See if we can again identify what are the differences between these two clubs. And how would you justify that extra 80 quid? Now you can see from where these two both finished on the fairway, there was little to separate them in terms of difference. The pull down the left hand side was like I said, down to my own personal swing. But it looks to me from what we've just carried in terms of yardage, very much to reiterating the point from inside there in terms of dry ball data. This is covering 180 yards quite comfortably with a high launch. And like I said, we've not come into a green, but I would think with the spin and the descent angle, this is really working coming into long par threes. So it gets from A to B very easily. And like I said, the difference between stood back on that tee and holding perhaps a five iron I'd be looking at to cover that same sort of yardage. I've not got nowhere near the same level of confidence when I'm stood over the ball with a five iron in hand as I do with that hybrid. Right, question is, we're right down the middle. Is my wedge game good enough to give us a birdie chance on the second? Well, if the distance is right, we're right on it. Sit. Woof. For those of you interested, I'm using a two ball 10 putter uh, today. I'm really having difficulty in settling on a putter that I can uh, get used to. I'm really gonna have to sort of pick something and, uh, and stick with it. Anyway, this is a birdie on the second. Roll out, roll out. Ah, good line, needed it in. Now I'm filming, or I've decided to film two videos as I'm going around here, because what I'm also doing today is uh, you hopefully have watched my initial review of the Tour Edge Hybrid. But as I've gone round, I've also popped in the Stealth Hybrid as well, exactly the same club, and uh, I'm doing the dual review. Hence, a couple of these shots you might have seen before. I've just hit a ball, or the ball you see me hit now is just sort of right side of the green with the, uh, with the Tour Edge. And I'm just gonna try the same shot and see what happens when I'm playing Stealth. It's a better line it's a lot longer as well i think let's see where that sits yeah that's back end that's gone off the back of the green a lot more powerful strike and uh, i've already said 172 yards this is clearly playing quite a bit longer than that so not the ideal yardage but again what these both clubs do very well like i said and i keep repeating it or five hybrids in general they just make this kind of shot 172 yards into a bit of breeze do I want to play a five iron or do I want to play a hybrid with a bit of meat on the bone and the type of club that I feel like I'm going to get some help with? I know which I'd choose. Okay, so again, second shot with stealth. Uh, the idea was, was to try a little bit of a right to left shot, get as tight to that water as we possibly can. And I've got to say, managed to hit the shape of shot with both. The danger is with hybrids, there's a tendency that you can overdo that. And I know a lot of people are concerned about sort of uh, hitting that sort of right to left shot in a dangerous position and putting in the water but I've got to say I had plenty of control over there and was able to execute the shot. Once again the comparison is they both did it extremely well. I would say that the Tor Edge has got a slightly softer feel to it. There's a more hard feel off the face and to be honest with you on this shot was really interesting. I'll go and clarify this uh, in the fairway now but it felt as though it fired a lot faster off the face of the stealth and maybe that's the noise it makes, whatever it is that makes you think that. But if I go down there, what I'm looking at in the fairway right now is I can't see any great deal of separation between the two of them at all. So that's clearly a mental thing we'll, we'll clarify in a bit. But yeah, there's a difference in terms of the feel between the two, more noticeable out here on the golf course. So yeah, pretty much as I said from off the tee, the difference in distance is uh, negligible. And to be honest with you, the further ball that you can see there is... Um, Slightly longer was off the Stealth product, but it went on a much tighter line. So they've pretty much traveled exactly the same distance. And uh, well, that's where we're going. It's 
So let me know what you think in terms of the performance of this golf club. From what you've seen at least uh, well today in my hands and then also maybe let me know how you've got on like i said earlier in testing this product yourself i'm really keen to know and i always say the same thing in terms of these requests the more feedback you get in that comment section below your fellow golfers read it and they get a better of a heads up than just listening to me but my comparison of these two products is that uh, they're so so similar in terms of profile, in terms of launch, in terms of ball speed, in terms of forgiveness. I would struggle to separate them. I'm struggling to find a difference. The only difference to me would be the, uh, the sort of sound and feel. And I would be leaning more towards the Tor Edge product because I like that sort of softer feel in all my clubs if I can get it. So that'd be a, an interesting key factor for me. The negative for me in terms of Tor Edge is availability in terms of the UK. You can only buy these through American Golf. And I visited two stores and neither of them had any stock whatsoever of Tor Edge products and told me that it had to be bought online. So that's a concern because you ain't getting to try them and you ain't getting to get custom fit by them. And that's a major problem for UK, US, obviously that's a different story altogether, I think. And maybe I went to the wrong two American Golf stores, so point me in the right direction again, if that's uh, incorrect, what I've just stated. But that'd be the only concern, like I said, I personally would never, or it's the first time I've ever bought a club online without ever trying before. I've got to say, it worked out well, I got it right, but I would be a little bit worried about that. But in terms of the price point, right now you save 80 quid. And for me, I'd be more than happy to put that Tor Edge product in the bag. It performs so, so well. But I suppose the key message is five hybrids, seven hybrids. I have to keep on rabbiting on seven woods. It's a way to go, isn't it?